All right, we're gonna pick up where we left off. Uh, we were actually talking about relief cuts. <laughs> what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna make a couple cuts right now. I got this guide post up a little bit. Okay, now you shouldn't be touching the blade, but uh, I had the power off, so we're good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple cuts. I'm gonna show you, go nice and slow. We're gonna try to keep our, we're gonna try to keep our, our, um, our blade on the outside of the line. So this is the good stock and this is the waste stock. So we wanna cut right on the outside of the line. I have some relief cuts, so I'll show you how to make a couple of relief cuts. And then just go nice and slow and twist the wood, all right? And we don't want to, we don't wanna twist the blade and we wanna stay on the outside of that line. So we're gonna start it up. We have our on off switch over here. So we're gonna start it up. Uh, every time you start it up also, start it without, you don't want the wood touching the blade when you start it. You start it. Now when you start it, everything sounds okay. If it didn't sound right, some making some noises, then we want to actually shut that off, all right? Um, and if the blade does break, you want to just shut it off right away, stand back, and come get the instructor. So we're going to turn this back on. Now look, all you need to do is make a couple relief cuts. I already made a few. I'm going to make a couple more, all right? Uh, that'd be my inside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here. Hand placement is the key. I'm going to put my pencil down. So I don't want to be in the line here. I don't want my fingers here. I want them to the sides, all right? I'm going to start off slow. And what I'm going to do is follow the outside of the line. It takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of skill. Just turn my wood. And then as you can see, the pieces are falling off. Okay. So my relief cut is working. All right. Nice and slow. Now that you see those pieces fall through, I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to get them out of the way. Just knock them out of the way. We can sweep up later. Okay. And look, a kind of a nice straight cut. Then I can clean this up on the, on the belt sander. Okay, the disc sander. I'm going to come on this side. My hand is to the side. So I'm going to just start it nice and easy. This is actually a nice sharp blade. So it's actually cutting. Okay. Uh, I'm actually kind of wide right now. Okay. So I'm going to take these out of the way. Another piece of wood. i use my pencil. Now, you can see i got a little bit of left. So what I'm going to do is come in nice and slow. Okay. You take some of that off. All right. Now look, even sometimes when I'm making a cut, I'm just making a cut here. Now I can actually back out of this cut nice and easy, all right? If I'm having trouble, then what I want to do is I want to turn the machine off, let it coast to a stop, let it coast to a stop, and then once it stops, I can actually back this out just by tapping it a little bit, okay? And then I can reposition myself. So you can back out of a cut, turn the machine off, and tap out of it, okay? I'm gonna start this up again. And as you'll see, the smaller the blade, all right, the tighter the radius. I'm just gonna go nice and slow. As you see my relief cut, okay? I'm gonna follow my line, okay? Follow my line, watch my hand placement. I wanna be to the side, okay? Twist my wood a little bit, okay? Never reach behind the saw blade. Never reach behind it. Back here, shouldn't be reaching, all right? I'm going kind of fast to make this video. Turn it off, let it stop. If a piece ever does get caught in here at this thrust plate, what I want you to do is turn the machine off and then clear it out. Preferably like with a pencil, okay? So, we showed you some inside curves and some outside curves. Now. You might sometimes, now we're gonna do our Pac-Man. Let's say we have a lot of material here that we actually have to cut off. Now, we can actually kind of just cut some, some of that stock out before we actually get going. So, I mean, I can actually cut some of that off, all right? And then I can actually get into my cut. I can start my cut again. Now this is a larger radius, a larger radius, so I should be able to make this without any relief cuts, all right? 
if you're having a hard time following your line, you might need some relief cuts. You notice we're keeping the blade nice and straight. Keep that blade nice and straight. All right. All right. Now this is my Pac-Man. So what I did was I just came through here and I'm cutting this. I'm cutting some of these parts off. So that, because that's garbage anyway. That's all. That's all waste stock. All right. So now I'm gonna come in here nice and slow. Let the saw blade do the work. Let it cut the wood for you. I'm gonna twist a little bit. I don't necessarily have to push all the time, but just twist. Now if the blade broke while I'm operating this, I would cut it down. And then what I would do is come get the instructor, all right? Just shut the machine off, back away, and sometimes those blades might get crazy on us. So what I'm doing is nice and slow, all right? And here's my radius. Turn the machine off, I can get my stock. All right, even take a piece of wood and clear that table, okay? Look, we're gonna take a look at uh, another saw, another uh, one of our band saws. So what we did was here, we showed you some components and we showed you how to actually make an outside curve, inside curve, we showed you how to make some relief cuts, showed you some components. Now, this one over here, as you can see this guide post, now, in order to raise and lower this guide post, this has a wheel on it. So all we gotta do is loosen this up. And then once we turn the wheel, the guide post will go up and down, all right? So we just crank this up and crank it down automatically. And then what we do is we just lock that in, okay? So this one here, we don't have to raise with our hands. This one here, we just loosen and then we can actually go up and down automatically. Okay, just make sure that you tighten this up. Okay, make sure you tighten that up. And then this one over here, this Delta, uh, like I say, if you can operate one bandsaw, you can operate all of them. Same thing, it has, uh, this one just has guide blocks on it. Uh, what we have, here's our, our guide post. And all we do is we loosen this up here. It raises and lowers it, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna get that height right eighth to a quarter inch above notice how it's got another slot all right and our on off switch is right there now this one here is very finicky sometimes the blade will track off a little bit okay so if you hear any kind of noise all i want you to do is turn the machine off and come get me okay so that's a uh, little video that's uh, some information on our band saws how to some parts and how to operate those any questions please uh you know notify me